The first section that you'll see upstairs features artists who are using collages to really explore shared experiences and memories from the larger African-American story. Some of the artists also, though, look at how their own personal story fits within a larger narrative. And one of those artists is Yashua Kloss, who has a series or a body of work devoted to his family members in, um, who are currently living in Detroit, who moved up there during the Great Migration from Memphis, Tennessee. And this work depicts his uncle Scott and you can see he has, you know, his, his face is applied on top of a surface that actually has um, elements that are meant to evoke the Art Deco architecture of Detroit. While some, arguably most of the artists in the show, they use uh, materials that are already in existence, whether that's um, scraps of fabric that they have lying around or cuttings from, from magazines or even uh, imagery that is sourced from the internet. He actually makes the materials that he uses to form his collages. He makes woodblock prints that he then deconstructs and reassembles. So it's a very labor intensive uh, process and in that way too, in this case specifically, he's, he's acknowledging the labor of his ancestors and his larger family. Another section upstairs is uh, notions of power and beauty. And this section features a lot of very confident black women. And in that way, many of these artists are inserting the black female body into larger conversations about beauty that have historically centered on whiteness and white definitions of beauty. So here we have a work by Jamia Richmond Edwards. She actually lived in Baltimore for many years and just recently moved back to her hometown of Detroit. And in this work, she's really acknowledging and kind of honoring the role that many black women have in fashion. Um, how adornment is a really important part of identity and self-expression, that this is all a way of expressing themselves. And particularly in Detroit in the 90s when Jamia was growing up, that really stood um, that countered some of the economic hardship that many families were experiencing um, due to the auto industry's um, decline. Despite the fact that black women have often contributed to the fashion world, for many, many years they were excluded from advertisements, from fashion shows, and we are starting to see black women involved in that a little bit more, but she's really um, you know, acknowledging that, that history and that vital position that they have.